Hello and welcome to Funko Down Under. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I purchased at Supernova Brisbane 2018. Let's begin, shall we? Alright, let's grind out the first one. This one here is from Hanna Barbera Jabba Jewel. This is a NYCC 2008 limited edition exclusive. Now, originally when I was picking up the New York Comic Con ones, I wasn't going to pick up Jabba Jewel, but then afterwards I was going through the Mystery Incorporated series of Scooby-Doo. And in Mystery Incorporated, there is a series, sorry, in Mystery Incorporated, there is an episode where they have all these old Hanna-Barbera characters come back for an episode. And essentially it's, it's in um, one of Scooby's dreams when when um, Scooby's sick, so they, they come back and help Scooby to solve the mystery. And they bring back all these sort of mascot type characters from each series, and Jabba Jaw was one of them. So I wanted to add Jabba Jaw to my collection because of that. So it could tie in with, with the whole Scooby-Doo franchise, since I'm still working on Scooby-Doo to get that set finished. So you can see the front, the side, the back, which has fantastic artwork. Love it, it's got all the little Jabba Jaws, and it's got him, the cock of him on one side, the cartoon picture over here. And then it's got the cock, the artwork design on this side. Just love it. Up next, I picked up from Hanna-Barbera's Wacky Races, I picked up the Dog's Ride of Big Gus, Gus Son, I think his name is, with Creepy, with Creepy Kooky, is what they call him. Maybe this is the Dog's Ride. Now I am collecting Wacky Races, but only the Dog's Rides for Wacky Races. I've already got, as you can see, might be able to see up the top, I've got, I've got Muttley there as well, so I wanted to add this one also to the collection as well. This is the Dorms. Um, and I picked this one up at the Pop Culture Store. This is a Funko Shop Limited Edition to 200, sorry, to two, yeah, sorry, 2,000 pieces. In great, great, great details. Here you can see the front, the front of it, the side, the back. Well, it's got some great artwork on, on here and, yeah, and then the other side. Up next is... From the Jetsons, it is Rosie the Robot. This is the door of Rosie the Robot. It is limited to 4,000 pieces, exclusive to the Funko shop. I also picked up this one from the Pop Culture Store. Or, or even Jabba Jaw was picked up from the Pop Culture exclusive pop up shop that they had. There you have it. Here he is. And with, with um, Jay, sorry, with Rosie, if you can see up the top here, there's a bit of tape. So if you take that off, you can tell that it's been open. But so I should still be able to op open this and do a bit of a review on these ones. But the review on this is going to come later. It's in the front, the side of Rosie. It's in the back. 
and to the other side where this lists off all the other characters Rosie, Jane, sorry, Rosie, Judy, Jane, Elroy and Astro. You've got some, yeah, the Pops are coming out in December for those, for those living in Australia that want to pick them up. Up next is a daub of Judy, also limited to 4,000 pieces. Next one we have, she's actually going to cave, cave it in if I do it like that. I'll put that one down as the back end one. Up next we have, from the Jetsons, we have limited to 5,000 pieces exclusive to the Funko shop. It is George Jepsen in, there's George Jepsen with Spaceship. Have it. Great piece there. Next up we have Elroy Jepsen. You can see Elroy Jepsen at the front. And then we have next up is Jane. There she is. And then we've also got five we've also got the last of the Jetsons. It is Astro. There's Astro. Let's move this across. Tad. I'll put side here. Now, the final piece that is this dog is wrapped up in a nice pop stack. It is signed Ginny Weasley. I got that signed into convention by Bonnie Wright. There you go. There she is flying on her broom. And she even signed it. It looks like a bit of a heart. The eye. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see that. I've also got this authenticity that needs to be um, lamp also needs to be laminated as well to keep it in good condition as well. Now it says here for the authenticity, this autograph photo or item has been signed at Supernova Pop Culture Expo in Australia and is unconditionally guaranteed as to its authenticity. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Down below will be all of the information that you can click on for social media. Don't forget to, to like, comment, subscribe. This has been Funko Down Under. I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.